Hi, welcome to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby. Ever wondered how you can compare two speakers together by just quickly flicking from one to the other with a remote control? Or maybe comparing two amplifiers by simply clicking A or B. And today we're going to talk about just that. And to do that, we're going to use this Duke Audio One Little Bear. I've seen this a few times on Amazon. I almost wanted to buy it a couple of times. And I always thought, oh, it's just a toy. And do I really want to put that in my signal pass? No, that's not going to happen. And then here it is. I finally got one here. And I just discovered that it's actually a very valuable tool. You may not want to put it in your signal pass all the time. But let's say you want to test a couple speakers. You want to test a couple amplifiers this could come in really really handy. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually how could this be hooked up to compare two speakers together or two amplifiers together. Also if you stick around to the end I'm going to show you how to customize those VU meter to make them look to something like what you would want to build. Just like this one how I put my Gapster logo on it and I changed the way I wanted to configure. So how does this thing work? On the front You've got basically two VU meters, one for the left, one for the right. You can adjust the sensitivity of those. And you could use it if you want, just like dancing VU meters, to hook up to any of your projects or your stereo just for the fun of it. But if you want to use it for something more useful, uh, you can basically hook up two amplifiers, up to two amplifiers on the back and two speakers on the back. And you can decide here you have amplifier A or B or speaker one or two. So you could say, I want to listen to amplifier A or B. So in this case, we're going to pick B. And which speaker do I want? I want speaker one or speaker two. With a remote control that comes with it, and you could say I want speaker one or speaker two, or I want amplifier A or amplifier B. And it will automatically switch for you without causing you trouble, without having to go and hook up a whole bunch of wires every time you want to switch. And you can switch basically on the fly. So here you can see the remote that comes with it. It's pretty small little thing, but works great. So for example, you can switch between amplifier A or amplifier B, or maybe speaker one and speaker two. So you've got all the choice. You could control that from the comfort of your couch. And you can compare two things really fast, one after the other. And that's the only way to really compare two components because if you compare them by the time you go hook up your wires and come back and try again, the moment is gone and you have forgotten exactly what the other one is like. And by doing a quick A and B test, that's the only way to do a real test. Uh, the remote control comes also, there's a couple, uh, you can adjust the intensity of the uh, VU meter light. So you can make it strong or you can make it weak. So it's a pretty slick little unit. And like I said, you can put it all the time, hook it up if you really want to see and have a nice VU meter. And if you're really one of the purest and you really don't want to put it in your chain, it will come very handy to compare two things. So if you are a purist, you really will be definitely comparing many things all the time. And this unit will come very handy for that. And here you can see the back of your unit. It's fairly simple, really. You don't really need a rocket science degree to figure this out. You've got basically the amplifier section, A and B, and the speakers, one or two. And you've got left and right, and left and right. So basically, you could put uh, two amplifiers, so this is one stereo pair and one stereo pair here, and two speakers, stereo here and stereo here. And uh, there's a small USB-C just to power it. So as simple as that, uh, to connect it, it's really fairly, fairly simple. And uh, that's the front without being connected. Now on the front, there is a, a slider here that you can control the intensity of the VU meters. So for example, say you want them to be dancing at lower volume, so you could actually crank this a little higher or vice versa. It may appear to you that this is a toy, but it's actually very, very well built. The construction part is really good. It's basically, it feels really heavy when you, when you hold it and it's very, very solid. It's made of uh, anodized aluminum on all four side top bottom and all the side you can see them all this is all anodized aluminum and the v meter are nicely nice and big and very visible and 
the beauty about uh, watching a DIY channel reviewer like me is that uh, you get to see the inside of uh, the equipment so uh, it's good when you're not afraid to open things up and uh, check it out. So here you could see the inside of the uh, of the uh, where the relays are. These are some very good size relays which is very important when you are uh, switching speakers so, and, and amplifiers. You, you need all that. There's some decent resistors actually in there. So it, it's all, all in all it's, it, it's a decent product. And on the back, I tested the uh, with a very strong uh, neodymium magnet. These are not uh, ferromagnetic at all, so that's that's really good. And even the chassis is all in aluminum, so there's no ferromagnetic uh, parts in there. And remember when I said when you can customize the view meters to look like you want them to be and put your own logos on them and have whatever graduations you want to put on them. I'm just going to show you a little clip from the, where I am designed my Capster D11 DAC on how I did that. You could do the exact same thing with the view meters of the Duke Audio uh, One Little Bear. I designed the uh, face uh, template for the uh, view meter and uh, then I printed it on transparency paper and uh, cut it and put it into uh, and replace the original uh, view meter uh, faceplate. All right, just inserting the, after cutting about six or seven of them, I finally got a good one. It's very precise, there's quite a few little cutouts that you have to be exact, but it seems to work fine. All right, here it is with the uh, lit. From the back. I'm going to put a little speaker icon here. If you click on it, you'll be able to subscribe and help my channel. It'll help me grow and help me make more videos just like this one. I'm going to put in the corner on top five easy tweaks for clean power for your hi fi system. One of them you've never heard of, and it's very important because every household has so many of them. Take care and hope to see you again.